question, the member from Halton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. The town of Milton, uh, the fastest growing town in Canada, has been keeping up with growth, but the hospital services in Milton have not. Milton Hospital was built to serve a community of about 30,000 people. Today, the population exceeds 90,000 people. And by 2021, the population of Milton is expected to surpass 180,000 people. Failing to address the situation in Milton Hospital puts residents' health and lives in jeopardy. Minister, when will the people of, Halton, of Milton have an expanded hospital? Minister. Uh, thank you, Speaker, and, uh, and I thank the member for raising the question as he did yesterday in estimates. Um, I, uh, I'm pleased to tell you that I, I do know that there has been money that has been uh, been allocated that you that your hospital has received for planning purposes. Uh, many hospitals are in that position. Uh, you do know also that this government has really accelerated uh, hospital construction. There are more than a uh, hundred projects that are uh, either underway or completed right now across this province. Part of our Renew Ontario strategy, our $30 million Renew Ontario strategy, included $5 billion for hospital construction and reconstruction. That is an enormous investment, no matter how you cut it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I mentioned, Milton is the fastest growing town in Canada, in fact, in, in, uh, in North America. Uh, no town in Ontario has a more compelling case uh, than Milton for an expanded, expanded hospital. Minister, an expanded plan for Milton District Hospital was submitted to the Ministry over a year ago, for which there were some funds uh, uh, put out for that. And still, the only answer that we've had from that, uh, from that plan submitted a year ago was the Liberal government, from the Liberal government, is silence. The doctors and nurses of Milton Hospital are doing a tremendous job, but they are forced to work against the force of an adequate infrastructure. Minister, I've asked you before, when will the second phase of the hospital plan be implemented? We've been waiting a year already, Minister. When will it be implemented? Sir? Uh, uh, thank you, Speaker, and I do commend the member for his advocacy on part of his community, but I, I would appreciate it even more if he would support the government's uh, uh, approach to capital expenditures in this province, across the province. Um, it's, uh, it's not about one hospital, it's about our health care system. I think it's important to acknowledge that our government has spent more on capital projects for hospitals than the previous five governments combined. Wow. We've had a lot of ground to make up for, but we are, are continuing our commitment to build the, the infrastructure that is required for excellent health care in this province.